disabled paragon. It was one and other pet shop, most of the puppy chum and yip. Small being to be adopted, but not bold. He was playing happily, waiting for a special person to find him. Then suddenly, there she was, both sat up straight and wagged his tail, which he couldn't resist ch chasing. You're my good boy, the little girl said, hugging him. There was no doubt about it, they were a team. Both didn't know it then, but he was uh, being adopted into an ordinary family. Then his father was a professor who had some top secret and scientific information, and a cat loving green eyed villain named Dr. Calico wanted that information very badly. Had his dad worried about keeping Penny sick from Dr. Calico, so one night he took both to his laboratory and gave the pup amazing powers. From then on, it would be Bolt's job to protect Penny. One day, Dr. Calico captured Penny's mother. Penny knew that he, she had to rescue her dad, and Bolt knew that he had to help Penny. Soon, Bolt and Penny were on their way to find Dr. Calico's secret hideout, but Calico's thug tried to stop them. Bolt used his amazing power, speech, ability, heat vision, and his super bark. Soon, the thug were defeated, and Penny was safe. Good job, buddy, Penny said, picking up Bolt and carrying him into a trailer with his name on it. Bolt didn't see the bad guys getting up unharmed as the trailer door closed. In fact, he had no idea that his adventure wasn't real. He, Penny, Dr. Calico, the professor, and the thugs were actors in a Hollywood TV show. At a shooting of the next episode, Dr. Calico appeared and captured Penny. Bolt longed to save her, but he felt something pulling him back. The poor dog couldn't see that it was, a, was an animal handler taking him back to his trailer. Filming was done for the day. Bolt quickly broke out of his trailer and raced back to the set to save Penny, but Dr. Calico's computer room was dark and desert. Bolt ran down the hallway until he spotted a window in the studio mail room. Bolt sprang onto a tower of boxes, leaped through the window. Thud! The dog hit the glass, knocking himself out. He fell into a shipping box filled with squishy pink packing peanuts. The next day, Bolt woke up and broke out of the box. He had been shipped overnight from Hollywood to New York City. He ran down a strange street until smack! He slammed into a fence and got his head stuck. Bolt couldn't bend the bar, so he thought that the pink pigeon peanuts had taken away his power. Fortunately, three friendly pigeons helped free him. Bolt asked the boy how to find Calico. I need someone on the inside, someone close to a green-eyed man, a cat. A cat? To a pigeon named Vinny, smiling shyly. We know just one. The pigeon flew up and Bolt followed. The cat Vinny had in his in mind was named Mittens, and she was one tough kitty. She got her meals by threatening pigeon for half of the food they found. When my stomach growled, I have no control over these claws, she warned them. Bolt burst into the alley and slammed mittens against a trash can. She was a cat, so she must be an agent of Dr. Coco. And nowhere Penny was being held prisoner. Where is she? he demanded. Will you tell this crazy canyon? He got the wrong cat. Mittens, mittens pleaded with Minnie and its pop calls. But the pigeon wasn't about to help her. Not after the way she has treated them. Bolt tied Mitten to himself with a leash. He would need her to find Calico and Penny. Spotting a moving lorry with a Hollywood sun, Bolt tried to use his hit vision on his slouch. If I stare really hard, you will burst into flame and melt, he explained, but nothing happened. Mitten thought he was crazy. The mover opened the door to the truck, and Bolt and Mitten knocked on the board. Mitten accidentally tipped a box over. Bolt panicked when he saw the pink packing peanuts that the wood had weakened him. He threw himself and Mitten out of the lorry. Just then, Bolt stomach growled loudly. He smelled food cooking at nearby campsite. Mitten was hungry too, so he started coaching him to a perfect cute dog face. Sure enough, as soon as Bolt began invading, the camera heavily gave him the scraps. 
to finish the meal, both admitted were surprised by someone rolling top of them. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! A hamster named Renault cried. You're both, you're fully awesome! Wait a minute, Mitten said. You, you know this dog? Both were surprised too. How did this hamster know him? Rhino must work for Penny's dad. Don't stop. The dog didn't realize that Rhino had been watching him on TV. I captured this cat, Both explains. He's taking me to Penny. Rhino was ecstatic. He was going on a mission with his hero. Moments later, the trail was standing on an overpass as a train roared by below them. Every time he did this on the magic uh, bath, it was awesome, Rhino said to Mitten. At last, Mittens understood. The magic bath was a TV. Bolt was an actor. Before she could stop him, Bolt was swinging, swinging them all down onto the train. The three animals landed on top of the train and fell right up. Amazingly, none of them were hurt. Fearing for her life, Mitten climbed a tree to get away from Bolt. Look! Genius, Mitten told the declared dog. You're not a re you're not real. Penny's not real. Nothing you think is real is real. But Bolt didn't believe her, and unfortunately, the argument caught the attention of an animal control control officer. Ryan has rushed out to find the library to help Bolt get Mitten out of the tree. But by the time he arrived with the ladder, it was too late. Along his little plastic ball, Rhino watched as the animal shelter van pulled away with Bolt and Mitten locked inside. Rhino knew what he had to do. Destiny was calling. He would answer and rescue Bolt. Rhino raced after his hero. He climbed out of his wall and off the side of the van. Then he pulled on the door handle with all his might. The door flew open and Bolt leaped out. I did it! Bolt cried, thinking that he has broken out with his amazing power. Fully awesome! Rhino greeted Bolt excitedly. You, you opened the door? Bolt asked in disbelief. That was when Bolt finally realized that he did not have the amazing power after all. It was the worst moment in his life. He was no hero. It was just a dog. A hurt, broken, ordinary dog. But he or not. He knew that he had to rescue Mittens. So Bolt and Rhino headed out to find the animal shelter. When the when they reached the shelter, Ryan Hall grew giddy. He was part of a prison break. Since Bolt couldn't really on his powers anymore, he had to work out another way to free Mittens. Thinking fast, he sent Rhino rolling into the dog pen. The dogs bark excitedly, and the animal control worker went to investigate. With the coast clear, Bolt sneaked past and tiptoed into the cat room. You came back for me? The cat asked, surprised. Rhino caught up with Mitten and Bolt, and the trial headed for the door, but an animal control worker blocked the way. Suddenly, another worker ran up and slipped accidentally, kicking Rhino Bolt into a helium tank. The tank is thrown up like a rocket and crashed into the shelter sign outside. The sign fell onto a lorry carrying a petrol tank, and kaboom! It, it exploded. Bolt, Rhino, and Mitten ran for their lives. Three friends jump into a house that was being moved by a big lorry. If I don't fight bad guys, then where am I? Both asked, sad and confused. What do dogs do? Being a dog is easy, Mitten reassured him. You can do almost anything and people will love you. And so Mittens began teaching Bolt how to be a normal dog. She showed him where dogs like to sleep on a cold night. And she taught him how to drink from a toilet. Rhino is awesome! A voice suddenly echoed through the house. He be on awesome! He be awesome! Both admitting follows the sound until they found Rhino yelling into an air vent. He loves the way it makes his voice sound loud and powerful. Both step in front of the vent and enjoy the air blowing on his face. That gave Mitten an idea! Mitten led Bolt over to see a window and open it. Stick your head out, she instructed. Bolt loved feeling the wind on his face as the house speed along the road. This is amazing! He cried happily to Mitten. Why don't you try it? It's more of a dog thing, the cat reply, replied. Days passed. The animal continued the journey across the country. Mitten used the time to teach Bolt to play fetch, bury a bone, and chase burning sprinkle. All the while, 
Mitten was surprised by how much he was learning to trust in life quote. It was almost like having a family. One rainy day, Mitte walked in right away riding in the back of a lorry. Who was happy as he could be? The rainy truck washed away the lightning bolts on both sides, but he hardly noticed. Folks, the TV star was gone, and folks, the regular dog had stuck in his place. Mitte smiled. She has a new friend. Eventually, the animal arrived in Las Vegas. Mitten loved it there so much that she set up homes for the three of them, but both still wanted to find Penny. She from a television show. She appeared not a bit is real. Long ago, Mittens has her own person, and that person had left her too. She didn't want Penny to break Bolt's heart too. But Bolt wouldn't give up. He knew that Penny still loved him. Every dog meets his person, and she's my person, Bolt insists, so he sets off to find her. When Mitten told Rhino about Bolt, the hamster feet. If Bolt had taught me anything, Rhino declared, it's that you never abandon a friend in, in a time of need. Rhino flew off to find his canine, canine friend. Mitten thought for a moment, then she followed. Not long after, Bolt finally made it back to Hollywood. As soon as he survived on the set, he heard Penny. Bolt, Bolt, you're okay! She shouted. Bolt ran toward the sounds of her voice, overjoyed. He couldn't wait to see her and play fetch with her. Then he stopped so short. Another dog raced into Penny's arms. Bolt had been replaced. He slid away unseen, his heart broken. The rehearsal ended, and the new boat ran to get a treat from his trainer. Betty burst into tears. She missed the real boat and had been missing her ever since he had disappeared. Mitten has a bad starting time to see Penny cry, and at last, Mitten understood that Bolt had been right about a little girl all along. Mitten had to tell Bolt. Mitten found Bolt wandering suddenly outside the studio. What are you doing here? Bolt asked. That's not important, said Mitten. Listen, I was wrong about Penny. I saw the whole thing. She was still fasted. She, you were a person, Bolt, and you are her dog. Suddenly, Bolt ear shut up. He had heard someone cry for help. The TV studio caught on fire. It's Penny, he shouted, with no time to lose. Bolt slipped it into the burning building as a piece of set crashed down behind him. Bolt was able to find Penny in the darkness and caught her guide her over to an event, but Penny was too weak to go up. She told him to leave and save himself. She loved him that much, but Bolt would not deserve, desert her. He might not be a super dog, but he was Penny's dog. Bolt barked as loudly as he could. Firefighters heard the barks through the vents and burst into the burning room. Thanks to Bolt, Penny was saved.